we're all going to get to our TBR list eventually. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the December Alcrate box. This is another box that arrived for me during the 25 boxes of Christmas. I'm happy that I'm finally getting to share it with you guys today. I am slowly but surely getting through all the boxes that arrived during that time. I do still have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes piled up over there. We'll see how many I can get to today. If you've never heard of Outcrate, it is a monthly young adult book box subscription. They do also offer a middle grade box. It is for the younger grades, maybe like fourth and fifth grade, somewhere around there. The Outcrate boxes are $35.99 a month, plus you do have to pay shipping, and each box will have an array of bookish goodies. Now, throughout the year, they usually do some kind of collectible series. They've been having a pin series going on with this one. Let's just see what the last box of 2022 had to offer. Star Crossed was the theme for December. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the literary luggage. And this is one of the series that they had going on. This is design 12 of 12. So they have sent out 12 enamel pans, all in the shape of these cute little luggage tags. Aw, this one is really cute too. Oh, it's Crane Dune. This is giving me such Outlander feels. I love this one. It may be one of my favorite ones that they've done all year long. Wow. Spend time in Crane of Dune. I wish I could spend time in Crane of Dune. This is so beautifully designed. Absolutely love this. Any Outlander fan would absolutely love this. Yep, inspired by Outlander and designed by artist Hey Atlas Creative, the 12th and final collectible literary luggage enamel pin has us longing for Scottish moors and their romance that transcends time. I just got all caught up with the Outlander series, watched it again from start to finish, from season one to season six. Cannot wait for season seven to come out this summer. I'm so looking forward to it, and it'll be a longer season because they won't have some of the other restrictions that they had with season six. So totally looking forward to that. I will go ahead and pop in a picture so that you can see the designs of all 12 of the enamel pins. I can't guarantee that they'll be in order because I have just been, you know, putting them aside on my little pin board every single month that I've been getting them. But that is all 12 that we received all year. And this one is definitely in my top faves. I think there was also a fable inspired one and that one would probably be my second favorite enamel pin because I absolutely loved the book Fable and I will be talking a little bit more about that on this special project I've been working on, hopefully coming in the future weeks to maybe months. Let's keep going. What else do we have in this box? Oh, I'm seeing a salt and pepper shaker. I haven't received a salt and pepper shaker in quite a while in a box. So it's nice to see them again. The design is actually very delicate looking. Oh, Dame Blanche and Chasseur. Who, what is this inspired by? Because La Dame Blanche is something that I also recognize from Outlander, but maybe it's also for something else. This one is inspired by the forbidden love that flourishes between Le Blanc and Reed Diggory in Serpent and Dove. The ceramic salt and pepper shaker has been lovingly designed by Lichen and Limestone, if I'm saying that right. I do think that it is really well designed. It's serpent and a dove on the back. I don't know, that just reminds me of Outlander as well, but maybe because I have Outlander on the brain. It's in that season when they went to France and everyone started knowing her as La Dame Blanche as the White Witch. It's cool that it's also for another fandom, but I'm just seeing a different connection. It makes it more versatile to me. Moving on to the next item, this one's in a white box. The stars incline us, they do not bind us. These Violent Delights inspired ceramic tea bag rest. 
will help you stay caffeinated, perfect for those evenings when you read till the stars come out. This is cool. This is like a silicone tea holder. I did need this. I think I would prefer to put my tea in something like this, something I'm more familiar with. And then here we have this little crescent moon. I don't even know what it says. For some reason, my brain is just not reading it properly. But I will pop a picture of it up there. It's like a little trinket dish, but maybe it's meant to hold the tea bag like that. Defy the stars and stay up late with a cup of tea. This tea bag rest inspired by these violet delights has been designed by Lady Chubb Letters and will be perfect for those evenings when you whisper just one more chapter to yourself. We've also included a matching silicone tea bag to add some bookish flair to drinking your loose leaf teas, which I needed one of these because I have a ton of loose leaf teas and I have other bags that I could use with it, but I like this one, I think, it's the most familiar looking one for me, if that makes sense. Okay, the next item, it's a straw set. It's, that's what it feels like. It says, you are the bane of my existence and the object of all of my desires. And it definitely is straws, but look, they have a cute little heart design on them. That is something I have not seen before. And they are gold instead of the traditional silver. Of course, it does come with a cleaner, so you can clean the inside of your straws. Very important, for sure. I do love this. It's a pack of five, packaged within a canvas bag designed by Week and Wonder. Is it Bridgerton? Inspired heart straws will ensure that you stay hydrated after watching all that spicy banter between Kate and Antony. Is it Antony or Anthony? I don't know, I still haven't seen the series, guys. I know I'm like super behind, but I do think that I might like it based on some of the other things that I like. I just have not dove into it yet. I actually spend a lot of my time watching reruns of shows that I've already watched in the past, and that's mostly because I just have it on in the background, either while I'm editing or while I'm cleaning or doing something else. If I watch a new series, I have to sit there and watch it, and I don't have a lot of time to just sit there and watch a new TV show. So that's one of the reasons why I don't start new series very often. Oftentimes people will see me watching past series because it's good enough entertainment for me in the background, but it, I've seen it enough that I don't need to be sit there glued to it, if you know what I mean. I know there's some people out there that do the same thing, but that's usually how I roll. For example, when I started watching The Crown over the winter break, those were the three days off that I took from my business because I couldn't do anything else. I was just boom binge watching The Crown episodes over and over and over again. That's usually what happens to me when I watch a new series is I like shut out the rest of the world and I don't wanna do that when I have a lot of work to do. Next item in this fun moon and stars bag. I was gonna say it's a wall tapestry design but it has pockets. This is cool. The dream chooses the dreamer. It's got little butterflies or is it moths all over it? Actually, that would come in handy. I have something similar like this in my bathroom and I might replace it with this because the one I'm using is like my old Mary Kay travel roll up bag and it's just hanging in my bathroom wall. But this actually has better pockets and it's a little bit more decorative. So I'll actually get use out of that. So thank you Alcrate for coming up with something useful and a beautiful design. Dreaming of a life where everything is in the right place. Yes. Looking to add some more organization to your life. Yes, this hanging fabric organizer will ensure that you have plenty of space to stash your trinkets and treasures. Inspired by Strange the Dreamer, this gorgeous pattern printed on this item was designed by Off The Hook Studio. And I actually spent hours yesterday in my bathroom reorganizing the products that I've received in my boxes, also giving it a very deep clean. Like my bathroom is like the cleanest it's looked. I think since we've moved in. I mean, I really went to work in my bathroom yesterday, really trying to get it as clean and organized as possible. And this is one of the things I could change out. So I could remove my Mary Kay bag, which just has like not as big pouches and hang this up in its spot. It'll look a lot more decorative and it'll hold the things properly. So I am looking forward to that product. It came at the perfect time for me. Let's move on. Ooh, the next item is a bookmark. I do not know what is inspired by this bookmark. I don't know if it's this month's book or 
what it says we've also included an unsealy bookmark with gorgeous character art don't forget to check out this exciting 2023 release okay so then i'm going to say this probably isn't the book that's in here because this was the december 2022 box yeah that's some interesting art i don't really recognize anything about it oh and it does have a qr code if you want to scan to read the three chapters of Unsealy. It is out now. Apparently it came out January 3rd, 2023. Scan it, go read the first three chapters and decide whether or not you want to get the book. Next item. Oh, another bookmark. I was not expecting another bookmark. Two bookmarks. For tonight, maybe we could just be Leia and Elias. And your soul sings to mine. My soul is yours. And it always will be in any word. Is that the same guy? That almost looks like the same guy. Maybe they're just similar because those are definitely different girls. All right, I'll have those bookmarks posted for you. So that's like three bookmarks in one box, but we did get a lot of other cool items. The star-crossed and tragic, there are many bookish couples that have won our hearts through their defiance. Designed by Kim Karlaika Art, this bookmark set pays homage to two of the most well-loved romances in young adult history. With the first bookmark featuring Akiva and Karu from Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and the second featuring Elias and Leia from An Ember in the Ashes. I have heard of both of those books. I need to see if I have them because I've been getting young adult books for years now, and I need to spend like a Sunday fun day just going through my books. That sounds fun. Let's just go through my books together. <laughs> Who wants to be here for that? Last item in here, besides the booklet, and then this book just has an interview with the author, an interview with the vendors, and then other little goodies inside. And the book this month is called The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. It does say it's an Alcrate exclusive signed edition. We do have a letter from the author. And, oh, this one comes with a map. I love it when books come with maps. It does have our signature, it's at the very front. Okay, let's see if this has a different book sleeve, and it does. The book jacket has this gorgeous design on it. She looks very peaceful, just right there by the water, and I don't know who that boy is across the way. I guess we'll have to read a little bit of the book to find out what's going on in that sleeve. The back says, the forest was speaking and a wolf was at the doorstep. Okay, outsiders are always given a choice the forest or the lake. Either way, they're never heard from again. Lilo has spent her entire life on Enla, coexisting with the bloodthirsty forest and respecting the poisonous lake that protects her island from outsiders who seek to destroy it. But as much as Lilo cares for her community, she struggles to accept that her younger brother will be exiled by his next birthday, unless he gains the magic of enchanted song so vital to Enla. When Lilo sees a young outsider on the verge of drowning in the lake, she knows exactly what she's supposed to do. But in a moment that will change everything, Lilo betrays her family, her best friend, and Enla by making the unthinkable choice. Discovery could lead to devastation, consequences for both Lilo and the outsider, Jaren. But as they grow closer, Lilo realizes that not all dangers come from beyond the lake and they can only survive if Lilo is willing to question the very fabric of her society, her people, and herself. So that did explain a little bit of what was going on in the dust jacket picture. Maybe that was Jaren on the other side of the lake where she was sitting so pretty and peacefully. I don't know that the book sleeve really gave too much detail about what was going on in the story. It almost didn't give me enough to really rope me in to want to read it. I probably will read it eventually because that's what I say about all my books, right? We're all going to get to our TBR list eventually. If you guys have read this book and it's awesome, let me know because that'll definitely bump it up on my list. Those are my thoughts on the book. As a recap, we have this really cool fabric wall organizer salt and pepper shaker set. Two of the bookmarks that came from the Starcrossed Lovers theme. This literary luggage enamel pin is the final of the series. 
Then we have this silicone tea bag with the tea bag rest. Five reusable straws with cute little heart designs on them. This other bookmark, which gives a sneak peek into a newly released book. Of course, we have the letter from the author and then the book itself. The December box was jam packed full of items. I know I'll get use out of several of the things that are in here. I definitely think it was worth my $35 value. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.